Well, he has started because we've just got underway. Referee is Graham Scott, who was also in charge at Woking in round three last season. Maybe that's a good omen for uh, the FA Cup this season. And Bailey Spencer Adams got the first touch from the kickoff. His uh, clearance was uh, almost charged down, but Watford had possession, and here he is again. Corner was taken short. Here's Keener and now Chalabar, left hand edge of the penalty area. Infield to Delhi Bashir, 25 yards out. Shooting opportunity. Does shoot, it's deflected and in! Watford take the lead! Tom Deli Bashiru marks his full debut with his first professional goal. Took a little nick on the way that took it further away from Aaron Chapman. But just the start of this much change Watford team would have wanted. 11 and a half minutes on the clock. And quite a day for Tom Deli Bashiru, who opens the scoring in the FA Cup. Watford won, Tramir Rovers nil. Yeah, good goal from Deli Bashiru. Great finish. Comes across. Tramme switch off, it's a corner at Watford, Tramme switch off and they play a little ball out to the edge of the box and that old cliche, if you don't shoot, you don't score. Well, he just lines it up, doesn't get blocked down quick enough, quick enough and he just might get a slight deflection but he takes the shot on and connects with the shot really well. But then Clark takes a chance, inside his own box and success has run it back. Success against Monte, can he find Keener? It might come to Chalabar on his left foot, it's 2-0! Terrible defending inside the Tramere penalty area. Success and Kina bullied Monte, won the ball back. And Nathaniel Chalabar, calm as you like from 15 yards, bend the ball left footed into bottom right hand corner. Past Aaron Chapman, two goals in two minutes. Watford are close to the fourth round already. Nathaniel Chalabar comes across to celebrate with Nigel Pearson. His first goal of the season, his first goal since returning to Watford. Watford 2, Tranmere 0. Now Pereira works it out towards the right-hand side. Success is there. Here's Keener looking to turn on the edge of the penalty area onto his left foot. Still going Keener. His shot wide of the right-hand post, but it took a deflection. Real burst of energy there. Some trickery as well from Domingos Keener. And it took a deflection to take it wide. Nice dummy from success, round Dans. And he looks for Gray. Gray on the edge of the penalty here. Gray, one touch out of his feet. Finds Pereira. It's 3 0. Not sure Gray was actually passing to Pereira, but it was perfectly into his path. And he bent it left footed beyond the right hand of Aaron Chapman into the corner. And surely what for the home and hose before half time. Roberto Pereira scores his third goal of the season, his second cup goal. Nice finish with his left foot. Watford three, Tramir Rovers nil. Yeah, good play from Watford, success. Does well on that left-hand side. Inside, though, good ball into Gray. Gray tries to beat the defender, and it falls nicely for Pereira, coming in off the right-hand side. And a lovely finish with his left foot. That, that quality finish. We've seen three good strikes today from one of the Watford players. To the edge of the area, and Jennings. Jennings with a little curler. And Backman forced into his first save of the afternoon. That makes it comfortably down to his right. Feeding Jennings. Jennings onto his right foot. Goes for the curler. Backman down to his left to make the save. Watford three, Tranmere Rovers nil at the interval. And uh, well, a job half done. But uh, that half job done very well in the first 45 minutes. Jao Pedro is coming on at half time in place of Nathaniel Chalabar, so it will be um, a change of formation, one would imagine, in the yeah. second half for uh, Nigel Pearson's men. So, uh, an exciting 45 minutes now. The uh, Brazilian starlet just says a little prayer before uh, he enters the fray. Messina clips it cross field. He's uh, on the edge of his own penalty area in the left back position. Three men round him. Doesn't face him at all. Now success bursts over the halfway line. Isaac success in full flow. Works it to Pedro on the left hand side. Pedro attacking the penalty area. Pedro into the penalty area onto his right foot again. Shoots! Oh, a foot wide of the right hand post. And it took a deflection. And it's a corner for Watford. Yeah, great work from Isaac success off the right hand side. Driving through the middle of the pitch. Drives down central then. Plays it out to the left hand side. Pedro wanting to get it onto his right foot gets into the box and then he takes a shot. Watford's first corner of the second half. Pereira on this left-hand side in front of the surrounding John Stanley. Curls it towards the far post. 
headed away by Clark. Keener on the volley on the edge of the box. Misses his kick. Dawson picks it up. Dawson onto his right foot. Dawson shoots! Just over the bar from 20 yards from Craig Dawson of all people. It remains 3-0. Been in swinging with his right foot towards the near post. Bashuru smuggles it away. Back to Blackett Taylor. Stands across again. Jennings with the header! Jennings with the goal for Tranmere, but the flag is up. It won't count. When the ball, ball went back to Blackett Taylor. When the ball went back to Blackett Taylor, he was offside. Peter Clark is complaining. Uh, well, VAR will look at it, of course, and the Tranmere debates the offside flag on this near side. I think it's all about when the ball went back to the uh, corner taker, Derek. Yeah, that's what I think it is as well, because it doesn't look like the goal scorer will be offside. No, I think this goal is going to stand because Blackett Taylor got the ball back off Deli Bashiru. So I think the goal will stand. Think, yeah. Yes, he is an offside position, but Deli Bashiru's clearance went back to the corner taker. So whilst he was in an offside position, if it doesn't touch Peter Clark, which yeah. it doesn't, then uh, the goal this goal will given. stand. So referee Graham Scott goal. stands with his uh, hand to his right ear, waiting for VAR official, who's uh, Andy Madley, who was the on-field official here against uh, Wolves on New Year's Day. The goal is given, and uh, celebrations in the away end can now commence. Five yards better than a corner. High delivery. Ooh. Batman doesn't get there, Batman drops it, and Monte fires in it, and Tranmere have another one back. Batman came for it, it slipped through his fingers, Tranmere kept it alive, and Manny Monte swivelled on the six-yard box and thumped it into the bottom corner. With 12 minutes to go in his game, very much on at Vicarage Road in the third round of the FA Cup, it's Watford three, Tranmere overs two. Well... Have to go down as a goalkeeping error. He comes for it, doesn't get it. Backman slips out of his hands. They keep the ball alive then, Tranmere. And the big man, Monte, who we mentioned a lot in this game, spins and just whacks it into that corner. Curls it crossfield for Blackett Taylor. Success is down injured. Blackett Taylor runs at Barrett. Barrett slides in and it's a corner. The referee blew his, yeah. put his whistle to his mouth then. But it looked to me from here as if Barrett got the ball. Yeah. Tranmere imploring the referee to say that VAR should look at that challenge from young Mason Barrett. We're seeing it again on the screen here. Ooh. And oh, did he get the don't, ball? I don't know if he gets the ball there, John. Did he get the ball? He's looked dangerous out on that this left hand side. Moment. VAR is checking it. Not sure if he gets VAR the ball. VAR is checking this. This is a big moment. Doesn't get the ball. You know, he's looked dangerous, Blackett, more on that left-hand side. And I don't think young Barrett gets the ball. Well, everybody holding their breath. Referee stands, hands on hips, waiting for Stockley Park to give him the instruction. It's either a penalty or a corner. Andy Madley is the man in charge. That's Stockley Park. Derek Payne, new rule that Mason Barrett didn't get the ball. This is whether he jumps into Mason Barrett, the, the forward. Yeah. Because Barrett does not get the ball. But Blackett Moore, does he jump into Still Barrett? we wait. Still we wait. Referee has points to the penalty spot. Paul Mullin has the ball on the Vicarage Road end penalty spot. Right footed, down the middle, 3-3. What a comeback from the League One side. Paul Mullin fires the penalty down the middle. Batman went to his left. It is Premier League Watford three. League One Tranmere Rovers three. Danny Bashiru battling just inside the Tranmere half. Comes away with it and then trips over the ball. Neil Dans has it back, but Pereira wins it back for Watford. And then holds on to it too long and is robbed by Morris. Then Danny Bashiru wins it back and Pereira is... Uh, pulled Morris down, and oh, Pereira is sent God. off. Roberto Pereira has been shown a straight set red card. Well, it goes from bad to worse for Watford. Watford down to ten men. VAR should look at this and try to win the ball back. Oh, well, he does nothing. Just, he does nothing. Just, it should be looked at. He just Surely it should be looked at by oh, VAR. Clear. It's not a red card.
Messina holding up, Dans drives in across goal, Batman pokes it away from his near post and success is fouled by Perkins, but that is the full-time whistle. What a cup tie we've had here at Vicarage Road. Watford 3-0 up after 34 minutes, end up hanging on and we'll have to go to the Wirral in 10 days' time for a replay after conceding three goals in the last 25 minutes here at Vicarage Road and ending the game with 10 men for the third successive home game. Oi, there's plenty more to see here.